that in from me Why you gon' do like that? Why you gon' act like you don't know? No, baby, don't do like that Girl, come feed me, don't be stingy Why you gon' do like that? Hola gente de Full Dance Access, mi nombre es Ay, en el día de hoy me encuentro en Spike Center con Moika. How are you today, girl? I'm doing very well. Girl, you made me sweat. I made myself sweat. I have a couple of, <laughs> <laughs> I have a couple of questions for you. Okay. The first one, how many years do you have dancing? I've been dancing, uh, particularly dance hall for about 13 years now. Wow. Um, dancing, period, I'm sorry, no, no, no. I've been dancing, period for about 13 years. I've been dancing dance hall for about 10 years. Besides dance hall, do you like something else? I am trained in traditional ballet, jazz, modern dance. I'm not a dance hall dancer. My first my first blush with arts is not dance hall. No. It's ballet. Okay, go <laughs> what is your inspiration to dance? Um, freedom. Dance brings me freedom. Um, I feel like I'm a very expressive person vocally, but also sometimes uh, dance just gives me a way of expressing myself that I can't put in words. So um, I'm inspired by giving people that same feeling to be free through dance. A lot of people, I feel like they don't know how to express themselves. Um, they're not confident with themselves, but when they dance, they, they explore a different part of themselves that they were not familiar with before. So I like to share that with people. Okay, um, I'm kind of confused. Okay. Where are you coming from? Um, I came from, where was I before Panama? Okay, and um, you were born in Panama? Oh no, I was born in the Philippines. Perfect. And my father is Filipino and Jamaican. Uh, we lived there for like three years in Jamaica, and then I moved to California when I was nine. Perfect. Yeah. I know that you're doing um, a dance hall tour. Uh, you're yes. going to from here, the Dominican Republic. You're going to Puerto Rico, and then you're going to Cuba. How do you feel about that? Um, I'm excited. I, I love brown people. <laughs> <laughs> brown people. So I'm excited to go places where they're brown and black people. So I'm very, ex I'm always loving to go to African diaspora countries. They're my favorite places to go. No shade, no racism, but I just love to be amongst. I don't get that in California. We're the minority, but to look everywhere and see people that look like you is a beautiful thing. Oh, yeah. I would like to know. Uh, can you give us like a little tip to know what things we need to do to be like a dancehall queen? Oh, to be a dancehall queen. Yes, I want to be a dancehall queen. Um, so being a dancehall queen is about individuality. It's about um, first honing in on your inner confidence. So for me, when you dance as a woman and you have issues confidence-wise, it shows in your dancing. And as a dancehall queen, you have dancehall queens that may not be the prettiest girls to everyone, but they have such confidence about themselves that they make you believe that they're the sexiest thing ever. So for me, that is a tip to being an A-plus dancehall queen, is just having the utmost confidence. Not cockiness, not, not conceitedness, but just true knowledge of who you are, comfortability with who you are, and the expression of who you are. That's not abridged by anything. And in general, to be a better dancer, I'm honing on your craft, work your craft, and this is advice that I'm giving to myself. Sometimes when you're naturally gifted, you don't work as hard, but you have to remember there's always people that are not as talented as you, that are willing to work harder than you. Um, so whatever your craft is, work at it and um, perfect it, give it time. So yeah. Um, as a dancer, have you been through any, any issue? What was the most uh, difficult thing that you had to go through <laughs> as a dancer? Jesus. Um, so yeah, so many issues. Every even every time I tour, there's still issues. I'm learning every time, every every place I go, I learn a little bit more. But the most difficult thing in general for me has been being a woman in the industry that is male dominated, um, being looked at as a sex symbol and not respected as a woman, but respected by what my gift is. People think that I am my dance, and a da my dance is a part of me, but I'm not my dance. Some men think that I'm easy or I'm sexually promiscuous just because I dance a certain way and so they treat you as such. So my battle has been um, earning respect in the industry, but at the same time not coming across as a BITC, you know what. Um, so playing the, the charming role, but at the same time having um, being serious about who you are and being taken seriously. Have you ever created any dancehall steps? Yourself? Yes, um, I've created nine steps since I've been a dancer, which is not very many because the, the, the creators are creating steps every day. Um, but for me, um, all of them are mostly dancehall queen style steps. The most popular, I guess, is Mad Africa. 
And I'm trying to develop more of that this year. It's not a confidence thing, I have confidence. It's just the time, giving my time to creativity and having that creative space to build. But yeah, I would say Mad Africa and Hambazi are like the biggest two dances. They're doing Hambazi all over Africa. Um, and Mad Africa is actually what started me touring, so. Do you know that you're the first dancehall queen that we have here in the Mini Yes, yes. That's the legacy. It's the legacy, yeah. How do you feel about it? How do you feel? That's, that's the point of why I'm doing what I'm doing. Um, I, I have requests to go to um, more modernized, or I guess more first world countries. I've had two requests to go to Europe this year, and I declined them because I want to go to countries where not I can be the first just to say, hey, I was the first, but to plant a seed of authenticity, to be built upon, and to share my perspective with those that might not have the platform. I live in LA, and I feel like we don't have the platform in third world countries that first world countries do. Okay. Can you say hi to your Full Dance Access people? Where? Full Dance Access. Oh, yes. <laughs> hi, Full Dance Access. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for having me. Thank you, Dominican Republic. You're such a, sorry, Republica Dominica. You're such a beautiful country, and I will be back again. Thank you, Apex Dance Studio. Thank you, LVDP Project. Big up yourself. Williams, you're such an awesome person, awesome soul. Support him. Big up to your movement. Spread it. Love it. Live it. Dance all. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> oh, baby, don't. <laughs>